Well, hello, Sagittarius. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. This is your weekly intuitive tarot card reading for April 15th through the 21st, 2024. And just a reminder here, Sagittarius, these are general readings, so take what resonates, that's what you're meant to hear, and leave the rest behind. So let's get right into it. Let's see what the cards are revealing. Messages and guidance for Sagittarius, please. What's coming through? All right. And we have the Queen of Rods. Sister Fire Sign. That's usually um, Aries. Can be Leo at times. Major Arcana card, the Emperor. Interesting. Looking right at the Queen there. And the Nine of Pentacles. This is getting interesting, Sagittarius. And the Knight of Rods. That's the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. Oh, your overall energy is the Major Arcana card, the Tower. <clears throat> well, I almost... The Tower gets a bad rap. Always people are thinking that it's, it is it is something of significant change, very unpredictable, <clears throat> excuse me, sudden change, but I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like what the tower energy will be bringing in. So let's uh, continue. Okay, let's see which crystal is being suggested for you. This will kind of um, give us more pieces to the puzzle. What's coming through for Sagittarius? Amethyst, okay, it's um, in regards to your intuition. Um, <clears throat> amethyst, which is what my tea light candle holder is, um, really um, helps with your perception on things, which is tapping into your third eye chakra and, um, you know, <clears throat> how you view things, listening to your intuition. So that's going to be um, a key player in regards to um, why the tower is kind of in the background this week. Significant change. So let's see what message is coming through for Sagittarius for, from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. All right, let's see. Unicorn, purity, something unusual. That's when I'm picking up something unusual. And that's also the tower card. Something unexpected. So let's see what the um, tea leaf message is for Sagittarius. What is, um, what's coming through? Okay, we did have one flip over. <clears throat> Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay, well, we do have the Nine of Pentacles, so it certainly could be some kind of money. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk about what's playing out in the background here. Major Arcana card, the Tower. With it being a Major Arcana card, that is what can bring in significant change. Uh, that could be uh, you're going along doing something one way, and then boom, you're going to have to uh, go to plan B, so to speak. So interesting. Wow, this is really interesting. Underneath, if we continue with the bottom of the deck energy, you've got the King of Rods. That's definitely Leo energy. Your anchor card for the reading is Queen of Rods, Queen of Wands, Aries or Leo. So this is um, this is this could have a lot to do with um, Sagittarius, the planetary alignment, what's been going on, you know, the solar eclipse, all of that, um, changing up the energy, maybe pushing you towards something. Look at this. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Cups. Wow. Now, this right here has not yet surfaced as of yet. This can change with free will, but boy, you really don't want it to. So this King of King of Rods, this King of Wands, it is um, uh, maybe like a new opportunity. Maybe it has something to do with um, the Fox card, resourcefulness, especially in business. You could be teaming up with uh, another fire sign, but specifically a Leo. You know, there's something, something explosive happening, some kind of change of direction. 
You're listening to your intuition. You know, if you have amethyst, certainly have it with you, Sagittarius. There's something significant change that's going to be uh, happening this week. Now, I'm going to tell you the unicorn card is a very, um, the energy with this is very much like a childlike innocence. There, I feel like there's some kind of opportunity, something's coming in here where you really are going to be trusting your gut instincts, you know, trusting your intuition. I almost feel that it's it's very unusual. We've got the, the unicorn spirit here. That is extremely unusual. So there's something uh, maybe doesn't come around very often that... Some kind of uh, either a person or a job or a business deal. Something that I feel um, is going to rock your world, so to speak. So you could be moving very quickly. You could be um, ending one job, going to another. I'm not really getting that you're ending a relationship, although that could be a result of taking advantage of what this is. So your anchor card for the reading is the Queen of Rods. And it's interesting with this card. There's a lot of growth. Um, there's success. Look at this, this bud that hasn't even opened yet. So whatever this is that's coming in, there's something that you're not even yet aware of. And the sunflower is facing your light, Sagittarius. So this is... This is kind of you just shining, taking advantage of, um, you know, like an opportunity, something that's coming in. You've got the emperor here, which is um, Aries energy. So a lot of fire energy. And of course, with the tower, there's a lot of fire going on there as well. But the emperor here, um, being a major arcana card, you know, this is where there's significant change that's going to be happening. You're taking action. You're seeing the truth. Maybe saying uh, goodbye to something, um, like goodbye to a job. I almost feel like he's he's very casual too. Look at his legs. He's just very casual sitting. He's saying he's he's really checking out, looking at possibly um, what the Queen of Rods represents. Very, very carefree. Now, this queen could be bringing some kind of opportunity. And emperor is about moving forward. He's very relaxed, though. Swords down. This is some kind of new person coming in. This is an opportunity coming in. And then if you notice... The Nine of Pentacles. Look at the grapes. A time of harvest. So I do feel that if you've been working towards something Sagittarius, if you've been thinking about something, this is the week that you need to take some action. You know, the Fox card is talking about resourcefulness, especially in regards to business. So if there's some kind of position that you want or maybe a job at another company, go for it. Um, Trust your gut instincts on this one. And that is why the tower is in the background. There's significant sudden change that could be taking place. It could involve the queen of rods, um, another uh, fire sign. You know, we saw that underneath here, Leo's energy, very strong. So a lot of fire this week um, with it, the nine of pentacles showing up. That is, you put in the work you're going to get the harvest. So there's something coming in you're going to be very happy with. You're taking action this week. So I really like the energy that's here. And keep in mind with the Nine of Pentacles, this is not only, you know, in regards to having enough for you, the Pentacles, you know, this is an abundance card. So you have abundance, but you have even enough to share with others. And then the Knight of Rods, this is the Knight of Wands. That's your energy. And it looks like you're, again, very casual. Um, and look at, um, you know, everything's pointing towards your future. Again, look at um, 
look at the eagle here. This is almost like, um, it looks like an eagle, but it's also a dragon breathing fire, okay? And we've got the salamander, just a little hint. Usually it's on his cloak. So you're adapting to um, whatever's coming in, you know, with the tower energy, shaking things up. It can shake things up um, in a good way as well. So I really like this energy, just very fiery energy. And you can handle it, Sagittarius. Definitely you can handle it. You're a fire sign. So let's clarify these cards. Queen of Rods, what role is she playing? What's going on? This is somebody that's alerting you to something. There's um, Maybe she's bringing in uh, the prospect of a new job, maybe introducing you to someone. There's something uh, where she's, she's all tied up in it. Maybe a recruiter. You're hearing some kind of news. which can be why the tower energy is playing out in the background. And there's so much fire on the tower, but there's so much fire energy. You being a fire sign, we've got the, the queen and the king of rods, the queen of wands, king of wands here. And we've got strong Aries energy here with the emperor. This is your card, the knight of wands. And the Knight of Wands, your card, very quick energy, you know, something coming in very suddenly, maybe solving some problems, changing things up, and then leaving just as quick. So might be time is of the essence in regards to what this might be. You won't have much time to think about it. But the, this Queen's bringing in some kind of news, something for you to think about. Here's with the Emperor. Oh, my Wow. Well, for some of you, I'm picking up that the Three of Swords is some kind of disappointment, um, but it's in regards to something from the past. Because you've got the Nine of Pentacles here, which is, you know, a lot of your hard work and previous work, getting that harvest. And with the three numerology, it is something's trying to come together. Something's um, trying to emerge. And with the Emperor, definitely um, moving forward with something that possibly was a disappointment previously. It's all very, you know, I'm, I'm just looking at very casual energy here. The queen, she's a little bit serious, but, um, you know, she's facing you, Sagittarius. The emperor, very casual. It's, it's like your hard work is just now like um, everything's falling into place this week. And then this is your energy where you're going off headed towards your future. You're adapting to whatever's taking place this week. So could be um, some kind of big moment. Some kind of change. Sudden change. And there you go. You got the Ace of Swords, which is out of all of this long journey, all this hard work and everything, there's an opportunity it's almost like, um, again, I'm picking up that this queen here has a lot to do with it. Look at the sword is drawn. The sword's coming in. It's like page of swords is some kind of news, getting to the, the bottom of something, getting to the truth of something. And the ace of swords, long time coming, that kind of. And then you're coming in. It looks like um, you're coming in, <laughs> taking, taking the... Um, Advantage of the opportunity, the change you're adapting. There you go. Celebration. Absolutely. You're going to have something to celebrate. Something that is unusual. Something where you need to be shrewd. You need to be resourceful. It can be, um, you know, it's, it's indicating possibly business. So it can be some kind of business opportunity coming in. Something that I feel maybe 
you got passed by previously, and you're certainly, you know, this is not, you are so sure of yourself, it's not going to pass you by again. Because I did pick up like timing or time is of the essence. And here you are taking advantage of the opportunity that's coming in, something you worked hard for. It's kind of like a, a happy ending here, Sagittarius. So you're going to do something that you've been thinking about. All right, Sagittarius, I do have the angel answer deck here. So uh, to wrap up your reading, think of a question. If you got a question in mind, maybe something where it's got a yes or a no answer. So let's see what the angels have to say in answer to uh, Sagittarius's question. What is the answer coming through? Helpful people. Well, definitely I can see that you got fire sign energy around you. You know, people coming in, alerting you, taking action, definitely. Now, this um, helpful people card can be uh, an indication to um, network, network with people. This is about expanding your circle of friends or uh, work associates, time to branch out to create personal or career career uh, connections so beautiful card and energy you know if you're asking about a new position a new job there's people around you you can go to professionals in your field possibly um it couldn't be in regards to your personal life that have um, some kind of experience, whatever you were asking about, what the question was. So, But when this card shows up, Sagittarius, there's someone that's entering into your life that can really assist you, help you make your dreams come true. And that is the Nine of Pentacles and strong, fiery energy around you. So be looking for a sister fire sign to come in and aid you in whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. All right, Sagittarius, that's the energy for the week. Thank you so much for joining me. For personal readings, visit my website. But love and abundance to my Sagittarian family.